sorry about it. It is a bright, bright, bright sunny day. Not quite warm enough to sit out. Thought my hopes this week is going to end up warm enough that we can have our conversation outside. But meanwhile, today, still a little cool. Good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. I seem to be alternating good sleep days and bad sleep days, so I need my coffee this morning, but I am not going on and on about it. <laughs> I can go on and on about the coffee. It's just I'm not going on and on about the sleep thing. I'm getting tired of hearing about it. But, yeah, I gotta, I gotta work on something. You know, I gotta work on something. My mental health, I feel very flat, very, yeah, up and down. Although a sunny day always helps. Always, always helps. So, I need to make myself a list of things that I want to do. and start doing them because feeling like I'm not doing much, and I, you know, and that is a, a true assessment of what's going on. <laughs> I am not doing much. I read yesterday again, um, but this time I'm reading a book I don't think I've ever read. It's a Jack Vance who's an old time fantasy writer. Um, Dennis is a big fan of his and he's been dead quite a few years now and his estate has been putting out some of his books Dennis was very sad that he missed out on an opportunity to get a full set of his books in hard co co cover that was quite some time ago and it was very expensive but now he regrets the economy of not buying it because he doesn't have them but now they're starting to put them out in electronic form and so he's gotten some of the books um, and he figured out how to get an e-reader on my phone and my tablet and so I can read them also and that's what I started doing yesterday the Leonese trilogy and uh, and I kind of got into it, I gotta say. So I, I read, but I was feeling tired. I've been sitting in my chair too much. And so my body is achy, my butt hurts, you know. It's like I'm not doing enough exercise-y kinds of things. I mean, the only thing I'm really doing is walking the dog. And I spend a lot of time on my chair. So I have things that have to change if I'm gonna be a happy lady. I gotta say and I've got to work on those things so one of the things is my food thing my I've been eating too much too much cream too much all kinds of stuff and um, I'm, and I'm sure I have carb creep because you know you have a few carbs in this and a few carbs in that but if you eat too much you know, so I need to buckle down on my food thing, which will help. I think that will help my sleep. Um, exercising will help my sleep. One of these days I'm going to actually pick the sticks, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm thinking about that because I've got to do something. Because cleaning the house didn't last very long. I mean, the cleaning has lasted okay. I haven't actually moved very much back from my dining room, so maybe that'll be a project. It'll, I don't know what happened to my pad. I had a pad here to remember to talk to you about things, and now I'm going to need it for my list. I need to find my pad, make a list. Uh -uh. Get out of my funk. I need to get out of the funk. I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting tired of myself. I did make lemon juice yesterday, however, and I'm, I'm a terrible vlogger. I forgot halfway through that I was showing you, so I didn't show you the cool, cool part, but, well, I didn't show you the, I show, here, 
Well, you can I knew see. I was going to forget to show you this. This is how I'm making my lemons. So I have my lemons here, and I peeled them using this peeler, so I didn't, and I forgot to show you. So there you go. 78 grams of peel, 78 grams of citric acid, and they're all going in a jar. And I'm doing it in layers. <clears throat> I'm holding on to this with my hand so you can see that I'm not being very efficient. And I'm not being a very good videographer either. So there you go. All right. So this will go, and I'm going to shake it up afterwards, and I will sit it on the counter and set a timer for two hours. And then we will be ready for the next part, which maybe I'll remember to video. Alright, now I have the lid on. Now I'm just going to shake it, and it's going to stay... Just sit here for two hours and macerate, or whatever the heck you want to call it. So, I have squeezed all the lemons. I think there were six of them, right? And I have gotten one and a half cups of straight-up lemon juice from the lemons that I squeezed. So, now we calculated that the 16.66 milliliters per gram of peel comes out to one and a third liters. So we are going to turn one and a half cups of lemon juice into one and a third liters plus a cup and a half of lemon juice. Well, and maybe more than that. So we will see when we're done, but I just wanted to show you the interim step. I'm going to try to get a little bit of that more stuff out there and then we shall see. The dogs are getting excited. <laughs> They want to go for a W-A-L-K. I knew I was going to forget, and I did. So this was the jar, and so I poured some water into the blender, <clears throat> and some of it in here to wash out and make sure I got all of the citric acid and all of the peels. Now here's the peels. But it's only in part of the water because I don't have a big enough blender. So... Basically, I'm going to strain this, add the rest of the water to it, and add the lemon juice, and we'll be good to go. We're going to need two, well, actually, it's almost going to be close to a two liters. So even two 750 bottles aren't going to be big enough. Maybe. We shall see. Anyway, I'm the worst. <laughs> But here we go. This is the lemon juice getting almost ready. I'm going to strain it and then finish diluting it. Okay, so I'm pouring it into this pitcher. And I'm draining. This is what the peels look like. There's a little more peel in there, but I don't think I'm going to bother trying to get it in there. And I have a little bit more water to add and all the lemon juice. And then we'll see what I end up with. So we have lots of wine bottles. And then this is an old gin bottle that has a nice lid to it. And it is our lemon juice bottle. But now we have two of them because these six lemons made a lot. So this is a great thing to know. You can leave the rest out. I'll drink it tonight. Whenever it won't fit. Um, Mostly it's good. Yeah. Things are getting expensive, and when if you use lemon juice, um, this is a way to stretch your lemons really much further, because this was, whoa, six lemons. Well, this was one and a half cups of um, lemon juice, squeezed the normal way. And this is more than a meter, meter, meter and a half. So there you go. 
We can also do this with lime juice and with orange juice. Now, I don't know if the orange juice it would be drinkable like orange juice. Um, but that, uh, what is the other acid? Malic? Malic. Malic acid. So the lemon, lemon juice only takes citric acid, but um, lime juice and orange juice take malic acid to make this way. But really stretches the fruit. So I feel bad that I didn't remember to, to start the video a, a, after the two hours of the of the the peel in the citric acid because that's like the one step that I miss because it sits for two hours. But anyway, so it's like the it's like the miracle of the loaves and fishes because <laughs> you start out with lemons that make a cup and a half of lemon juice, and you end up with a liter and a half of lemon juice. And I'll say that in this time when it looks like inflation is going crazy, things are going to start costing a lot. I don't know, you know, with gas and diesel so high, I don't even know, you know, availability might change. I, you know, if you don't live in the area where they grow lemons, you might not have very cheap lemons. My point is, this is a way to stretch your citrus juice dollar. Works great. I will try to link uh, it below the video of the guy who makes the juice and that will have the recipe and everything. <coughs> if you care. I, ha I have no idea if you can just drink the orange juice um, and it will just taste like orange juice and it will stretch oranges like crazy to have like fresh orange juice. We don't use orange juice. But, um, but the lime juice and the orange juice take malic acid in addition to the citric acid. The lemon's just citric. I have citric acid. Oh, because I got it because I was planning on dyeing yarn. Yeah, I, I, I used it when I was dyeing yarn. So, um, so we have that. Although, it's... You know, we're going to have to get another thing of citric acid because Dennis uses it too. He made paneer yesterday, so, um, and that uses citric acid. So anyway, feels a little bit like, you know, like I said, the loaves and the fishes. Two bottles. And when I juiced the lemons, it was a cup and a half. Anyway, I know. Nobody uses lemon juice like me, and nobody cares, so sorry about that. Meanwhile, Dennis did cook an egg. He said he has a spot on his pan that he was concerned about, and he said it was, it did, the egg did stick on that spot. But I think his plan is to make us walk food today. He's going to go to the store which and pick up the appropriate veggies. He made the paneer, because we're going to do a paneer um, walk dish using paneer instead of tofu. Um, and, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. So we're going to stop by Aura's this afternoon on our way home from walk because it is trash day and her trash needs to go out. We will see her and then she has rehab tomorrow, so I'll take her to rehab tomorrow. I have to look at my calendar and see what else is on my calendar. The, uh, per, um, Maisie has her hair appointment. She has a hair appointment this month. I'm not sure exactly when. Aura has a, another doctor appointment. I have to see what I have, if anything, in April. April 26th, if that's a Saturday. I think it's April 26th. No, 23rd. April 23rd, hold on, let me check. 23rd is our Zoom Craft Together Saturday, so please mark your calendar for that. I just went and looked at my calendar, and my eye appointment is on Thursday. I'm so excited. I have been having trouble seeing, you know, my glasses. I'm, you know, I'm just wearing cheap 
drugstore glasses and they're not right. I had to buy even stronger ones so that I could see my dragons because I couldn't see. And my eyes get tired and so my middle distance gets blurry after a while. And I think I'm gonna end up getting bifocals. My distance, distance, like I don't need glasses to drive because I can see perfectly well far, but I need like, I, I need, what I need is for glasses for my chair, reading TV, reading TV. Anyway, I'm looking, so looking forward to having my eyes checked and getting glasses that are good quality glasses. And I promise, promise I will take good care of them and Maisie won't get a hold of them easily. Although she has been on the prowl. She, I had picked up a new paintbrush that I had watched a video and she had used this kind of paintbrush and I thought, oh, let me try that. I picked it up at Michael's or Joann's. It was, you know, it wasn't this fabulous brush or anything, but I wanted to try it and I hadn't tried it before. Maisie took it off the table. She's starting to, She's, when she's in a mood, she, we call it being on the prowl, she's in a mood. She started taking stuff. I mean, she had a couple of things that she was chewing on, and I'm like, where did she get that? She took it off the table. So that is unusual. Usually in the past, she's like waited till it fell on the floor by accident. Not anymore. So maybe that just means I got to be a little cleaner and straighter. I like like this. I should not have this. This is my little ear, ear earbud, not earbuds, but earphones. <coughs> this is the kind of thing she'll take and chew. And it's right here on my table. And she's definitely taken off of this table, but she's taking it off the big table. So anyway, that's kind of annoying. So I'll be careful with my glasses. But I am looking forward to having my eyes checked, I have to say. So we have a couple things on the calendar this month for ourselves that don't involve Aura. Not too many things. But, um, yeah, so Dennis and I both have eye appointments on Thursday. I'm so excited. And, I, I, well, I won't have my new glasses for my crafting, my Zoom craft together yet. I'm quite sure, but they'll be on their way anyway in the process that's what I'm hoping so there you go that's the plan so I have to I have to work on myself I have to work on myself and my life and what I'm doing with my time I do feel like I've been wasting my time moping around reading my phone it's not good for me feels like you know There's a lot going on, and, 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 you know, and after a while, the bound to work on you, on everybody, you know, so I don't, you know, in any way blame myself for, you know, being lazy or whatever, which I, we could. <laughs> I think it would probably be appropriate, but I just have to recognize that, you know, it's tough. It's getting tough. It feels tough. No crafting with Christy last night. She was busy. But, um... I've had this idea that I need to start stitching because I find that I don't eat anything when I'm stitching. Because it feels like my eating window has gotten wider and wider. And I just kind of keep going. And if I just stop... And, some, and I don't, you know, so stitching keeps my hands busy in a way that somehow knitting doesn't. I'm not sure why. Except that I'm working on white fabric. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to make a few changes and see, you know, think about how to make a few changes and see how things can go. But try to be optimistic on a bright, beautiful, sunny day. It does help that it's a bright, beautiful, sunny day. Anyway, I'm rambling. Those of you who've been here for a while have heard this speech before. It's a, I'm a work in progress. 
you know, I mean, obviously, we all are, I guess, but I'm, I'm feeling like I need to refocus a little bit my energy, refocus my energy, and I think I'll go find a pad and think about what I want, the things I want to do and the things I need to do. Because doing things helps, you know, actually doing things, productive, you know. Like today, my plan today is to pull together, start working on pulling together ta the tax materials we've got to do our taxes. It turns out our taxes aren't due until Monday, next Monday, which is the 18th, which surprised me because the 15th is on Friday, but it's a uh, Good Friday. Good Friday is not a federal holiday, uh, but... I guess they just, you know, whatever. So we have a week, but I start to pull together all our information, make sure we have all our paperwork and everything. And we're gonna have to help Aura with hers too. So that's a project for this week. And getting that done will feel good. So. Yeah, work on my podcast, things like that. I need to, I need to, I need to find my pad, make a list. Anyway, so I need to work on things, and I'll feel better when I do, and I hope I start. But sometimes I need to talk about it for a week. You know how that works. You've been there for that part too. Oh, anyway, please take good care of yourselves. Please, please stay safe, and stay safe.